Hey everyone, this is Dr. Steve. A lot of you had questions about the email I sent out about uh, rotating your foods and not eating the same foods and about the testing. So I'm going to uh, review with you what the testing is about. It's by a lab in Florida called Alcat. And basically this testing, unlike um, what you would typically get in a food allergy testing, when you have a full allergic reaction to a, um, a food, when you eat it or come in contact with it sometimes, your body releases a very specific, almost like a like an antibody to, to attack it. Whereas when you have sensitivity, this is just food that is making your body inflamed. Imagine every one of your cells in your body swells up like a water balloon that gets bigger with more fluid okay so this is what uh, they test and they will categorize the test results by severe moderate mild and acceptable and I'll go over what this means so um, the acceptable foods are foods that you can eat and there's no reaction your cells are fine they basically test your blood and how it reacts to different chemicals from these foods now if you have a mild reaction, there's some inflammation in your cells, but it really doesn't swell it too much. These are going to be the foods that you have a mild intolerance to. And these foods you can actually eat every four days. These you can eat any day that you want. These ones you can only eat every four days. Now, the moderate intolerance uh, foods are foods that basically swells up your cells uh, moderately. And then the severe are foods that literally swap your cells um, severely, right? So how they um, organize this is once you know what food you can and can't eat, and you have the results right here. So they have it categorized by fruits, vegetables, legumes, meats, dairy, seafood, grains. And the amount of uh, food substances to test is dictated by I guess which test that you get this is a sample of a 200 panel so there's 200 foods being tested so once you have the results they will put you on a sample rotation eating plan right so day one two three four what they're saying is on day one only eat foods from these choices day two only eat from these choices and what they're doing is taking the foods that you are allowed to eat and putting it into a four-day rotation diet the reason you want to do this is because you ideally want to never eat the same foods day in and day out even if they're foods that you're okay with you technically if you ate those same foods there's a high chance of eating them every day to make them actually become sensitive to your body just you know our bodies don't react well to the same exact foods day in and day out so they put you on a four-day rotation diet okay so these are the choices now there's some other things that they can test for uh, chemical reactions um, chemicals in your environment uh, uh, sucralose which is a artificial sweetener uh, Splenda um, these are potassium nitrate would be like a preservative in foods and they can test for different uh, drugs, uh, different um, plant or mold substances, and these are different uh, preservatives and chemicals commonly in our foods. Polysorbate 80 is very, very common. Uh, saccharin is just um, those red packets, and aspartame or the blue packets, the equal. So these are common, uh, so you can actually opt to test for those as well. So you can also test for functional foods, you know, things like wheatgrass or different herbs like ashwagandha, asahi berry, which is pretty common right now. So uh, what you choose to test for is dictated by how, how varied of a diet you eat. Now, I, I will tell you the good news. Let's go back to the results. So now this doesn't mean that you can't eat these forever. What they recommend is you follow the rotation diet and after about three to six months you can be retested and a lot of times these intolerant foods become tolerant again now i will say that when you first follow the rotation diet um, the first week uh, commonly you can get um, almost like a detox effect where you feel a little sick the first week because you're getting rid of all that inflammation in all your cells i guess a good side effect is you're going to lose mm, three to four pounds of water weight easily and typically in your your hard to lose areas and uh, when you follow that rotation diet 
they also say that within their first 12 weeks, if you break the diet, meaning let's say you don't eat chicken, if you're sensitive to it, that would be horrible, but if you are <laughs> to chicken, and let's say you don't eat it for four weeks and all of a sudden you eat it, you actually will have a hypersensitivity, meaning because you were able to get it out of your body when you first eat it again in the beginning, you become hypersensitive. Now the symptoms of being hypersensitive to it for a couple of days is you're gonna get achy, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna feel stiff and swollen. Uh, I'm personally going through this whenever I sort of break my, my eating plan, I feel it for about three to four days. But the good news is, as you persist through and follow this plan, after about, again, they recommend three to six months, you can retest, and many of these will decrease uh, in sensitivity and become green. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, email me. Uh, you can always look up the different testing availabilities on their website, just alcat.com. And uh, if you are interested in actually having a test done, we have the kits right here in our office, and we offer a 10% discount uh, off of their retail prices because we get a discount. So if you have any questions, just uh, go to the website, pick out the panel that you want, let me know. We can provide you with the kits.